Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh-oh. What is this bitch doing? Oh! Oh, 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 oh my god! god. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Yo! We just watched a girl break her leg on oh, TikTok. No. Really? You yeah, made no, no, two no. grand the first day on feet pics? Well, I should have made more. But, so... Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, feels good. Wow. To oh, can we... Oh, they don't have the head... Oh. Did I just ruin the surprise? Yeah. Okay. I was gonna. Have, I was gonna have, put the. Uh, they have the headphones on. Oh, do they? <laughs> okay. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna start the pod right now. Woo! That just feels good, doesn't it? We ha- we did not get copyright striked so far today. Now we know. Today we uploaded and our you know very what? first podcast. It feels good. Yeah, it does feel good, bro. There's some uh, crazy stuff going on in the world right now. Yeah. Well, and uh, we got some pretty. There's some crazy things happening. I will say, bro, as we sit at this desk, we have been bluffing the people that have been watching and viewing. What have we been Because bluffing? until today, until the 24th of February, yeah. we were not real podcasters. We were just play play podcasters. We were just doing it. We were just microphones speaking it up kind of podcasters. I'd say for the past, dude, this is the most <laughs> I've used my computer. For. I swear God, to I, you. <laughs> you said we were joking around earlier and we were like, all right, you got the you got the art. All right, we're uploading here. We're are we good on Apple? We're yeah. good on like we're, we're like all right. Call the design team. All right, cool. Grab the God. management company. Make sure all Spotify, Apple, everything. It has been ridiculous, dude. It's been a I did, saying I wanted to start a podcast. I did not know what all that entailed. Yeah, and it's been not, it's been a crazy past few days. But everything set up, every streaming platform, everywhere you get your podcast, you can. Listen yeah. to the Banger Podcast. I mean, dude, they obviously know that now because it's like our fucking eighth episode. But yeah, you, but you know mean, what? We For us. You know what we do what we have now? Today. You know what we do have now? Well, we don't fully have it set up, but we have it. What? Our guest. Oh, yeah. We got some. We got two crazy guests that are coming in. They're not here right now. The Barefoot Boys, I would call them at this point in time. You may know them as the Farm Petting farm Boys. Farm Boys. Pond Boys. Animal Touchers. I don't know. There's a lot of like weird hoof fish scale action going on with these guys. Anyway, um, I mean, should we just bring them to? Yeah, the- we should bring them in. You guys, come on, come on in. Come on in, guys. Yeah, yeah. All right. That sucks. How's everyone doing? I was trying to whip up a fart so bad while you were under there. I could not get down there. Did you say the hoof boys or the fish scale boys? Yeah, I said the. There was a lot of animal touching. I don't know what I said. Animal touching. Yeah, dude. Yeah, you guys are like the the coolest farm boys I know. Farm boys. He, farm boys. Yeah. He, he's more of a farm boy than I am. What, that is sure. just not accurate at all. I don't own a farm. A small one. I live with my mom. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, right. yeah oh. we, we do some farm stuff, some fish stuff, if no one's familiar. Dude, yeah. this yeah. is exciting. So, this set is insane. Well, I really appreciate that um, because yeah, me too. it makes us look like we know what we're doing. And until today, like, we really had no idea. So. Yeah, yeah. For, you said eighth episode? I feel like I heard that. Yeah. Yeah, this is... We filmed a lot. This is, like, eighth or ninth episode oh. that we filmed. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. As far as, like, being actually live on everything, today was the first day. So yeah. It's uh, been a week of full... Jesus. By the way, Brenton, Fanatic, Paul Cavero. Paul, Paul Cavero. Yeah. There's so yeah. many cameras. Yeah, yeah this dude. is great. <laughs> I'm loving it. Yeah, it's... uh. Oh, we even have an extra camera. We've got your Bro, camera. Yeah, we even got my camera over here. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, hey, toss Trav your iPhone. He'll just, we'll get all the cameras whipped up, dude. This is absolutely That's crazy. Sick. Dude, we have, this is like a weird podcast because I have hung out with you guys like on different occasions, same time. We have so many crazy stories. You guys you. have so many crazy stories. Yep. And hopefully we can jit. We just made a crazy story right before we walked. <laughs> yeah, on. no, really. We can what? We, we did. I don't know where I was he going. He said we can jit. I, I it sounded like jizz. I know. I, I don't want it. Wait. It just sound like that's what you're trying to do. Let's <laughs> just hang out. Is what you're trying to say. Yeah, yeah we can jizz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, sick. So, so Brenton, Brenton did just catch like a three pound bag. Yeah, I did. That was legendary. Was. I, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, you're the first podcaster to whip up a fish in the backyard, bro. Yeah, I was kind of stoked. I came here with one intent, and that was to catch a largemouth carpet croaker, also known as a largemouth bass. Uh, for all of you guys That's who it. don't know, carpet it's, croaker. You've never heard of the largemouth carpet croaker? I've never heard. Of that. <laughs> I've heard of really? the ditch pickle. The ditch. What the hell is that? <laughs> That's a largemouth bass, dude. Uh, ditch pickle sounds more like a carp. No, dude. Nah? I, I wish we could show them what the largemouth carpet croaker looks like, bro. It's 
<laughs> it's awesome. Dude, it's like a massive carp with a schlong. Dude, just imagine like um, a three hour car ride with this kid. <laughs> dude, I'm not getting it sick. Yeah, some some of you guys will know what I'm talking about. So you have a podcast. I do. It's in the duffel bag right behind yeah. the cameras, right? So I walked in here and saw this set and <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of disappointed because ours is <laughs> quite insane. I'm not going to lie. It's in the duffel bag in Paul's truck. As a matter of fact, he wanted us to do the podcast in it on the grass. Yeah, he yeah. did. At, he was like, yeah, we could definitely use your set, but um, that's going on. Do you have like lawn chairs? <laughs> I did say that. I said that word for word, bro, because I wanted to film a podcast with you boys right. after. And then I was like, nah, let's not use the set. <laughs> let's film it in the backyard. For sure. It's a nighttime now. So I hope you have like night vision cameras. Bro, or something I'm telling you that. the lights, the mics, everything's in that duffel bag, bro. Lord it's have mercy. There. Dude, we're, there's some breaking news. Everybody here does YouTube. This yeah. has nothing to do with us, but we can all kind of get happy for this young lad. Do you guys know it's official as in like 10 minutes ago from this podcast, John B just had a kid. That is oh, absolutely yeah. insane. Baby B. I, I don't know what we're calling it, but I feel like Baby B is a, is a good John Baby B. B-roll. Oh, oh, baby oh, B-roll is yeah. prime. Baby B-roll, dude. Baby B-roll. Congrats, Everyone. John. Uh, yeah, for real. Probably not watching this, but congrats, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the so, people will send it. That's, yeah, will send someone it. clips him just this part, and he's like, okay, I've seen all I need to see. <laughs> oh, Flair had a baby too. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, he's yeah. been off for a while. Which baby, you, baby you, shoe, baby beefcake. Baby there shoe. is so, everyone that thinks popping babies out now. Yeah, except for us. Yeah, <laughs> um, I got something that was kind of funny. I've been looking up some just uh, <laughs> kind of funny things to say on the podcast. Did you know what? It's kind of sad. You think about this. Oh, uh, oh no, it's interesting, but kind of sad. Uh, there was a moment when you were younger, when your mom and dad put you down and never picked you back up. Oh, damn. That was deep, dude, for no reason. Wait. We were talking about babies. <laughs> oh, Think my God. That. You never thought about that. When was the last time you got picked up by your mom or dad? I'm going to see my mother Saturday, and I'm going to demand one <laughs> nice pickup. <laughs> you got to pick it's, me up dude, right now. I don't right even remember now. the last time. Dude, probably like a month ago. <laughs> that's the last time she picked me up, which is a fat. I mean, that's like it's all 30 days. Damn. Brenton asked for a nice little cuddle. Every yeah, day. dude. I, well, I fall asleep in the back seat and she's got to bring me inside. Oh, my you know? God. Like one dude, of those I classics. I used to do that all that the was time. When, when you have your eyes closed and you're still Greatest memorizing moment. the turns and you kind of know Bro, where you're yes. at. Yeah. You know it's what I'm amazing. About? I, I love that feeling. I used to go to the same, my parents' same friend's house every single day and I would fall asleep on the same couch and they'd carry me to the van. Dude. Every dude. Single but it was night. like you would wake up and be like, how the... Did I get <laughs> bro, now, now the adult version of that is Tristan was just, just getting wasted, bro. He's like, how did I get am I? Or the adult version is when you're driving and then like five minutes later, you're like, dude, how did I just drive? Yeah, that happens. Hey, dude, that hey, happens all the time. I've now. gotten somewhere, gotten out of my truck and I've been like, how many lights did I miss? <laughs> how, how did I get here? <laughs> like what just happened? This wasn't good. I haven't done this in a long time, but when I um, used to know how to read, I would be in a book and I would just be at the bottom ready to flip the page. And I'd be like, I don't remember. Bro, actually that doing that happens this. all the time. <laughs> That's crazy. Right that happens all the time right I'm now. I'm reading <laughs> these funny things to say. I'm like, <laughs> what did I read? <laughs> and you literally read it. <laughs> Dude, That's also, funny. this is just a side note. This is just like some podcast stuff that Tris and I, obviously we're still like working out the kinks. I think we're, we're freaking dialed. Yeah. But yeah. it's also like you try to be polite, not be on your phone, but we have specific things we want to talk about. Yep. And so it's like the pressure of keeping up with the conversation while also and trying asking, to read. Yeah, yeah. I don't so, blame you guys. So Tristan's read the same thing like four times already. <laughs> Still doesn't. He's still trying the to same, comprehend the conversation. Still in the same yeah. paragraph, <laughs> but read at the same time. Dude, I don't blame you guys. It's hard, I'm, and it's really hard with these guys <laughs> on because you guys are like, it's like, dude, if you, to, if you want to experience what these are like, we're talking to these mics. Just go up to someone and be like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> and then try and focus on something else. It's impossible, dude. I wanna, I wanna ask you a question. So a lot of, dude, we have no clue what our watchers even are. We don't know if they're like YouTube watchers or like yeah. just specifically Tristan or just me. Because believe it or not, there are times times when people watch my videos and Tristan will be with me and I'll be like, you know, Tristan, Yappy, I dive with him all the time. They're like, no, no. Or people will come up to T and be like, yeah, this is Jig. And they're like, who? It is the weirdest thing. It's, so you would yeah. think we're all associated, but it's not. It's so definitely, weird. Yep. There's definitely stuff overlapping that. Yeah. One, you would never believe. One thing that you guys have in common 
And if our audience doesn't, I mean, dude, it's so confusing. But one thing they may not know is you guys are the ultimate hustlers of Pokemon cards. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, we just got to crack damn right. into this. You're damn right. We should, <laughs> we my savings account some. has dissipated so much this year. Yeah. I actually, yeah. I was trying to get you know a loan for a house, and they denied me last week because uh, I have spent all my money on Pokemon cards. So yeah, it's but, but it's okay. You you got you got money coming in with Pokemon cards, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I just spend it again though. Yeah, I mean um, like like it's like a thing that you reinvest. So on the way here, we were like, it's <clears> fun. There is no way not to like you know. <gasps> oh, oh, what are those? What are those? Hand that to me. Hand these me. are two hundred fifty dollar cards. Wait, hand me, hand, let me see them. Let me see one. <laughs> these <laughs> are these are two hundred fifty dollar <laughs> cards. Like, hold on, hold on, <clears throat> T. He might recognize these. Dude, well, of course I recognize these. You know, we, we we passed a Walmart on the way here, and fossil. That's a fossil he hollow muck the wheel right to there. The left. 1999, and then you got a shrifty. I sold one of these on whatnot the other day. Uh, Kangastan jungle. You know, do you do you not? Who, who told you 250 dollars? Uh, you did. No, no, no. I bought them from you on a on a on an app online. Oh, oh my god! My I sold god. you these. That's what I when I said I sold them. I sold them to you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, Mike, remember that? Those were you. Okay, you remember you, I outbid myself on fifty times in a row. Yeah, the yes. the bid, the starting bid was like two dollars, and I was like four, six, yeah, so that's, nine, that's ten. Probably about twenty bucks. Worth. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's... now it's worth two hundred fifty because I have a receipt. That yeah. is and you beautiful. Also have both of us on podcast saying yes, they're worth two hundred fifty. They are. Those are worth two hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you guys can just pick up a, co- a Pokemon card and be like, all right, I know like the I, worth. A roundabout. Yeah. Or like exact. Roughly. I mean, he's better than I am, but um, like I, I truly like he buys to sell. Dude, I have so many that I, in the last, literally in the last week, how much money have I spent? Probably just, five to six thousand dollars. Just, up, just up, on slabs, just sitting on my phone at night, just like buy. Oh, I like that one. That's sick. Oh, oh that's my sick. God. It's, it's, but then when they come in, I do differently than him. I'm not buying them for my, like I am for my collection, but at the same time, like I buy them and I wait to do one big stream and then sell them all. Mm. He like d- buys them, does multiple streams, pr- pumps it on his YouTube every week. Like yeah. I buy it, I hold that stuff for like six months, and I just do one like sm- like yeah. massive stream. Yeah. But we all we I mean we love collecting them. So like that's but the I thing. have we'll a go personal collection as well. And then if the stream kills it, like I'll bring out my personal. I'm like, all right, you guys are asking for it. Like yep. and start whipping. I gave my whole personal collection out for way below market last time. T, you ever played Pokemon? I never played it, but I had like a binder full that I've been trying to find since this whole Pokemon thing has come up. I haven't been able to find it I feel it like yet, you're definitely not the only one with that situation. Oh, there's know, so many people, You bro. know, Travis bought his vehicle with Pokemon cards. Isn't that right? Yeah, I heard about that. You, you bought your vehicle. Right? You mentioned that to me. Travis, what? You so Travis I, is the cameraman behind the camera. That's in insane. I didn't know you were in a Pokemon like yeah. that. He's got he's, he's got a secret binder oh. too that like Dude, he's looking for. <laughs> oh, can, if you find it, can you please come to me first? <laughs> Just you know. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, maybe cut the camera when I was you know, <laughs> Nah, dude, we're gonna zoom right in on that suckage. Water's so good. Oh, it's funny. Two handed. Yeah, but no, the Pokemon space is cool. It kind of blew up. It's like a bro. It's, it it's is a stock. so addicting. It's literally it's like a so stock. Addicting. We um, we can um oh yeah handheld stocks. Yeah, that's where the name came from, right? Yep, exactly. Interesting. Uh, quick question. We can bleep this out, but I want to keep this segment in. I genuinely want to know how much money. Each of you are making off Pokemon cards. It could be like a raw number. We can bleep it out. No, but no, I'm just can, genuinely curious for the conversation. I know of, to the to yeah, the know, thousandth dollar. I know to the thousandth dollar too. All right, we'll really? we'll bleep it out. No, no, I'm fine with mine being public. I don't really. really yeah, I don't really care. Five million. No, I'm just kidding. There's no way, bro. No, you were like no, five million. Close. Yeah. No, off, no, no. Like, honestly, I'm I'm thinking like. I would say anyway. Well, anywhere it's between like damn, damn, five thousand dollars to twenty thousand dollars. It's more than that. More than Ooh, that. Yeah. That's a good hustle. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good hustle. So off I'll do per, I'm trying to think of whether personal or like Hanel stocks. Like Hanel stocks in twenty twenty one did forty six thousand dollars. And then this year so far it's done twenty one thousand. That's crazy. For That's insane. <laughs> Tristan's cards? like, all right, so the cards? <laughs> I got an idea. Oh, but, yeah. but 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 how much of that is? But profit? Been, again, I've spent so much money. Right. Okay. Yeah. I would say that forty six, probably thirty of it was profit. Oof. And then this twenty, I would probably say like sixteen of its profit. Because he's buying bigger stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. good money. But Man, that's for me. That's not including whatnot. I've though. only whatnot's done. Crazy. I've only done three sales. So like he's done probably 
a thousand. Right. Because he's constantly promoting it. Right. Yeah. I he's going to do one massive one. It's going to be insane. Yeah. yeah okay. I do like 50 grand. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Like, yeah, right but there. like one just pump. You guys I, cool with keeping think, all this in? Yeah. You can leave. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, that's it's crazy. It's on whatnot. It's not even with my YouTube. It's completely different. Yeah. That's where I actually bought those cards. Yeah. yeah. So if you find that's a buyer nuts. who's willing to bid These against These aren't themselves. people that watch us on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Like this is not me saying like, oh, my viewers make me 50 grand. This yeah. is yeah. literally it, like this, collectors the are the hobby. Off of. It's the that's hobby. The thing. Because yeah. I, I hate to yeah. seem like it's like, a, it, I don't want to sound like it's flexing or anything, but it's literally just like people who are interested in collecting. Like I'd say a lot of that is made from people who watch and go buy, but a lot of it is also made from people who are genuinely interested in just building their collection or buying and reselling. And you yeah. got to think so. I probably spent like 35 grand to make that 50. Yeah. So I mean, you spent so much money. Like, yeah. I it, wouldn't say only. That's I, a lot of money. 15 grand is a lot of money. I was going to say, yeah. it's fun though. It's like really, it, it gives you I something to do. I do it more for the fun. Like I had these cards at one point in my life. You I am, I mean? I like, am starting mm. to realize this. I feel like you may be too. I always route back to videos though. Videos are my my thing. Uh, that's like what I like to do. And sometimes I find myself investing more in Pokemon. I don't know Pokemon. what the heck I do without making videos. Dude. As I'm saying, I sometimes I find myself investing more in Pokemon than videos and I need to invest in videos way more. Hold on. <clears throat> I really wish I was sitting on the outside the way Tristan is because I'm like, <laughs> I'm like looking back at my... <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I just serving that bitch I, back and forth. We're bro. talking Pokemon. I, bro, honestly, this is our shit. Dude. I've never felt more like a guest on my own podcast ever. I'm now. just I, bro, <laughs> half of the <laughs> podcast. I'm sitting here like this, <laughs> dude. All right, so awesome. we got to bust into a story Whoa. that uh, it's time to bust, baby. We're gonna bust. <laughs> bang right bro, into problem. Problem hey, we that. got two more Bang Bros. Oh yeah, you're to added list. to the Bang Bro collection. Um, oh, sick. The Wait, Bang Bro. Yeah. Polaroid and stick us on a wall. Yeah, yeah we, no, we're actually, gonna do that right, right after this. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a couple Polaroids in here, but we don't really. It's a blank bang wall. Bros. So it feels weird to stick just two <laughs> Polaroids Polaroid. up there. Yeah, honorary Bang Bro. Congratulations. All right, question. Fanatic, you have a crazy story. That oh, which one? In Texas, <laughs> I wrote this down at a Texas Roadhouse while eating with you because we knew we were going to do this podcast. That's how long we've Dang, had this. That was like two years ago. We, we, Dude, it was a was it that long ago? Probably was year, the last time year I was ago. Like, okay, yeah. So it was a while ago. We've hung out a few times been, in Texas. Been writing down stories. Yeah. You had a hacker. It maybe still do. Yeah, I remember this story. Was like destroying your social platforms. It was so weird though, because you like dug down and- I could really go into that. Hey, that you sucked. know what happened to Brenton yesterday too? Bro. I can't explain that. You got yeah, hacked again? No, that was brutal. I told you last night. I told you last night with YouTube sending me that email. Oh. Yeah, that was brutal. Bro, he just wakes up, the video's deleted, strike on his channel. And he's Demonetized, like, banned from posting. Yeah. For like, saving goldfish. For literally, they said I was harming animals, and it was the video was about saving goldfish. Well, you first have to prove what? that a goldfish is an animal because there is debate about that. The, see, that's what I'm saying. And like, they didn't even watch the video. Is After a fish a, an animal or is a fish a fish? Fish is a fish. Exactly. So what are you harming? I'd be harming There's no fish, animals. But I'm not even harming it. I'm saving them. All right. Tell us yeah. about this hacker. So <laughs> this is actually quite interesting. So I was actually at Hooters uh, with my... I'll <laughs> start it off there. Great I was at start. Hooters with my girlfriend and uh, we were just sitting there and I had that Hand on Stocks Instagram account. This was a long time ago and at about 9,000 followers. I mean, the account was dope. I uh, just randomly went to go log into it and profile was changed. Everything was changed. Like I, w I couldn't get into it and I was super interested. So I DM the account and the guy was like, if you send me one Bitcoin, I'll give you it back. And I was like, well, <laughs> the Bitcoin's $36,000. <laughs> so you can keep my 9,000 followers. <laughs> Sounds pretty reasonable until you realize how expensive a Bitcoin yeah, is. Yeah. And I was like, okay, so that's not going to happen. And the kid's name was Dylan. He seemed like a normal person chatting with him. And I was like, this is so strange. I'm just chatting with the guy who stole my account. And I basically, I was like, super cool with him. I was like, all right, well, I guess you can have it, man. It's all yours. <laughs> and then probably three months later, I moved out to Paul's house for like a month and it was 2 a.m. And one of my best friends, Zenny, had texted me. And you know when you like, sometimes you just wake up to a text in the middle of the night. Oh yeah. And I woke up and I looked at it. And, and he did all these in the middle of the night so you would wake up. And he would have time to delete everything. Bro, so it's it's like 2 a.m. She texts me and she's like, hey, did someone hack your Instagram? And you know, it's 2 a.m. You're half awake. You see that text. Your you're personal? like, <gasps> yeah, oh, like boy. you get shocked. Like up, I was standing up butt ass naked in oh. Paul's house. My girlfriend was just like looking up. What, at you what like are you doing? Daddy? And I was like, uh, um, <laughs> one second, threw on some shorts, ran into the kitchen. 
And I'm, I'm sitting there. I was awake, I think. Yeah. yeah. And I, I turned on my phone. Sure enough, I was logged out of my Instagram. Oh. And I was like. Oh, boy. The anxiety sets in. I was freaking out. Because Instagram had like 70,000 followers. The same, I had, the, the same dude. I think I was more worried. <laughs> <laughs> I was Damn like, it, Dylan. <laughs> get dude, out of my socials, I'm like, bro. I'm like, what am I worried, worried about? The DMs or losing the 70,000 followers? Yeah. <laughs> and I was just sitting there. And I was like, I don't know hey, what to uh, do. I don't know hey. what to do. I'm going to have to pause you there. Mm -hmm. We're not just going to slide back past that. Like you didn't just say what you just said. What kind of DMs you got? I just, I'm worried about getting out. Dylan's like, don't worry. I'm on this boys. I'll answer. He's, like, <laughs> <laughs> he's watching. He's like, oh, I know what's in there. <laughs> but uh, I was sitting there panicking. So I go to log into it. And sure enough, he linked his phone number to it. So I was like, ah, oh, okay. That's so, convenient. That's Let's fine. Call him so up. I shot him a text and he was like, what's up, bro? <laughs> Like, straight up like casually bro straight up like he, was like, your up, hacker, bro? he was like what's up bro i was like hey man <laughs> you you got my account i, I kind of want it back and he was like yeah dude that's cool i'm so sorry about that and i was like <laughs> yeah oh, so what do i need to do and he was like just a you know a bitcoin <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have bitcoin to send you and we were kind of just going back and forth for a minute and he dude he just kept apologizing he's like i'm so sorry it's just like it's a really sucky so thing weird and i'm just like okay i facetime him he answers. Wow. It's like, <laughs> it's like 4 a.m. And he's like, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm in like Dallas, Texas. I'm like, I, I live in, I live in Dallas, Texas. He's like, really? That's awesome. I was like, sure. Yeah. Can I have my account back? And he's like, yeah, dude, I, I'm going to sell it tonight. If you don't, if you don't transfer me a, a Bitcoin. And I was like, yeah, well that can't happen. He's like, all right, I'm gonna sell it. I'm like, oh, okay, wait, wait. Well, how about I transfer you one? And, uh, and what to make sure, cause what if I transfer you one, you don't give me the account back. And he was like, no, no, I'll give it back to you. And I was like, okay. So what I was, what I was planning on doing was screenshotting, sending him, I was about to transfer one. And the second he sends me my account back, log into it and don't transfer it to him. And I was like, there's no way he's stupid enough to fall for that. Like, that's just like the, everyone knows like that you don't do that. But then again, if I transferred him the Bitcoin, he could not send me my account. Right. So I was telling him that and we went on for like three hours. It's like 6 a.m. Can he eventually just like send it back? No, no, no. It's like 6 a.m. at this point. And I'm like, all right, dude, I'm about to send you this Bitcoin. I'm sending him screenshots. And I was sending it like through Cash App, I think, <laughs> is what he wanted it through. And he's like, okay, bet. Did you send it? I'm like, I just sent it. I didn't send it. And he was like, okay, uh, you got your you got your account back. And I went to he where he gave me my password to log back in and I logged back in really quick and I got in and I immediately changed everything. And he was like, dude, I, I went to log into your account. Something's messed up. I think I messed up the password. Not knowing you I got back it. into it. Oh. And I was like, dude, you can't get me my account back. And he was like, dude, I'm so sorry. I messed it up. And I'm like, bro, Just come like it was on. Scary. And he's like, oh, he's like, dude, I can't like. Uh, I, I'm so sorry. Like you don't have to transfer me the money now. I, I don't know what to do. You'll just have to figure it out with Instagram. Well, we ended that night or whatever. He saw a week, a week later that I was posting on my story that I got it back. And he, he texted me and he was like, he texts hey, your hacker. Just dude, casually texted me. I, ha I have him in my contacts as hacker literally. And I have my text messages with him and I'm sitting there. He texts me like a week later. He's like, Hey bro, I saw you got your account back. If you don't transfer that money, I'm going to take it back. And I'm like challenge accepted. Yes. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, you're a brave man. No, you won't. He calls me later. He read off my social security number to me. Woo. Yep. <laughs> yep. Dude. So wow. I, yeah, he hit me hard with that one. He read that off to me. I think he also read off my driver's license number to me, which I didn't know what it was. So I don't know if it was correct. It probably was, but uh, yeah, he, uh, he started he had, naming your farm animals. I was, like, he, nah. he, I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> that, guy's, that guy's crazy. Yeah. And I'm just sitting there freaking out. So within an hour, I was actually on the phone with the FBI and uh, I had a boy because on his Instagram account, no pictures of him. It's all like Gucci and Louis Vuitton stuff that he's buying. But if you look at the comments on his posts, it's all the people he's hacked. Oh, I remember you telling me this. This, this is where it gets is twisted. This is the craziest thing. 24K Golden commented on He hacked 24K Golden. He was in Summer Ray's account. He hacks famous people and then and has those famous... Like his he goes in their account and comments on his post so we yeah. can track everyone he's hacked. And it's like 150 just verified check marks. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty and I'm impressive. like, Dude. there's no way this kid is just comfortable just letting me call him. Like that's like the most rookie move. Sure enough, FBI, police never were able to find him. They got back to me. They were like, we're so sorry. We, we can't find him with a phone number, kid with is just a, stud. a remote location where he lives. And he's just making racks like on FaceTime. I mean, it was just all designer stuff behind him. Like 
Just and he was probably sixteen. How do you find these? Dude, how, how does the FBI not find them? But he's ruining people's careers. That's why I called about it. Plot twist. That's, yeah. FBI. Regular people work FBI. What do regular people need to live? Money. What's Bitcoin? Oh, my gosh. da na 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 So you think, it's, <laughs> you think it is the FBI? No, no, no. I don't think anything. Because <laughs> I love my accounts. I don't think none. <laughs> but no, no, no. You put the pieces together. I just threw out some. Yeah, money. yeah. I don't know. So we have a segment on this podcast. Hey, we Tristan, do it. Tristan, can I have my Red Bull? Absolutely. Sorry yeah, about okay. that. <laughs> he took it from me when I went under the table at the beginning of the podcast. <laughs> you had your Red Bull hostage for 30 minutes, dude. Everybody's just taking everything from you. It's kind of like a perfect parlay from your hacker story. Sucks. So we have a segment. Um, it's for each, I guess, everybody here. You guys all have TikTok, right? Oh, yeah. We yep. love TikTok, especially dancing. <laughs> dancing? <laughs> <laughs> like you just you love wanna, dancing? You want to do a TikTok I love a specific genre. I actually can't do anything but the Renegade. I don't even know how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. Dude, we Paul has like one of those Finsta accounts. It's just him dancing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> just going so hard. No. I wish Paul had drafts like that. No, I don't even have any drafts. All right. You I don't know how to drafts. make a draft. Well, I'm so not into the TikTok game. I didn't even know you could have drafts on TikTok. But what nope. I do know is... God, you're old. Well, hold on. Before, yeah, before, you, before you ask, <clears throat> Paul specifically has had a viral TikTok that he's actually posted. Was it like a year later? I think it was... Dude, that was like a year ago at least. Yeah. Not probably like a year ago, but I've posted it like on Instagram three times, on TikTok two times, three times. And it just Bro, every go. single time I post the video, and people are like, how many times are you going to post it? I'm going to post it until it stops getting views. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of it, like the social media cheat code. And you know what's great? It is. It was everything about the video was so viral. Yeah. Like everything. It's perfect. The fact I walked up, it said, do not touch the fish. People comment about that. Yeah. The fact that Lizzie, the girl in the back, was screaming, you know, yeah. save him, save him. No one jumped in. That's another thing to comment. Why yeah. scream it and not save him? Another thing was your friends are fake. Why wouldn't they jump in to save you? Yeah. Was it a prank? Was it real? Was a, it fake? A, another was thing it, was you got knocked out by a f- fish. An Arapaima. Yeah. Like it's, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. That's and Joe Rogan was yeah, on that's it. You completed one of my life goals, bro. Dude, Joe Rogan <laughs> ro- bro, Joe Rogan was the on his baby podcast. Reposted the it? baby posted on his story. Snoop Dogg posted on his feed. Uh, Christina Aguilera retweeted it. Like, bro, it was like everywhere. I, I, I would leave the last one out. Honestly, like the baby and Snoop Dogg and Joe yeah. Rogan School, Christina you're, you're, Aguilera, just kind of you're one hundred percent right. Yeah. Yeah. Set the Regardless, Whoa. lots Whoa. of famous people. <laughs> I'm gonna get, I'm trying to stir Hold up on. the pot so we can get comments, dude. It's no. engagement. <laughs> Christina Aguilera is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and it was crazy. Regardless, a lot of people were on it, and like I posted the first time, the first one that went really viral was like 60, 70 million on TikTok, and 150 <laughs> million on YouTube, yeah. and then I remember you posted your. Uh, and then I posted it again on TikTok. You got 110 million views on TikTok, which Bro. is double what it got before. Do you know what's nuts? We were talking about this the other day. I think collectively it has over a one, billion one million, views. It was Ooh. in Brazil. Everybody's posting it too. Yeah. yeah. And their theirs are just doing the same thing. Same thing. Oh. I watched a guy that was on t- that was Instagram. Think of this. Someone takes your video from Instagram. Got it. They repost it. No tag. Yeah. 100 million views on Instagram Reel. Yeah. Bro. That's a minimum 100,000 followers. I yeah. lost. Yeah. Gone. No yeah. tag, nothing. Yeah, I can't stand that. The, ca- the account had three hundred k followers. How much? Oh wow! How uh, how much money would something like that generate though on like TikTok? I wish it was on a YouTube video because oh then, it would be like, then people would want to go watch Dude, the full thing. Ridiculous views, right? But the I actually uh, my buddy Ryan who did film it on his video, um, it was for his YouTube channel. I did this. This is the craziest part. Is this video was in my camera for two and a half weeks. I never posted it. You never know. Like I, it was, I literally oh. threw a face mask over my eyes, and I was like, "I'll just hold the fish, and when it comes up and eats, I'll act like it knocked me out." Yeah. For the video, it was right. just a joke, yeah. right? And I took it, and I had it in my feet. I'm like, "This is like whatever," you this know. Is, yeah. One day I'm sitting there, and I never have stuff to post on TikTok, so I just like threw it up on TikTok, blew up, dude. My, like, that's how my TikTok. I mean, this, I haven't had anything crazy <laughs> like that, but I just had a uh, one day. I got a um, like the Snapchat uh, yeah. reminders or what oh, happened yeah, like yeah, five yeah. years ago or whatever. When I got hooked in the mouth, and I was oh, like, "Oh, bro, I remember I'll, that." I'll throw this up on TikTok. Boom, blows up one million in one night. And I'm like, "Oh, what?" Yeah, yeah. Dude, TikTok's What's insane. going on. So when it goes back to the revenue part, there's not really much YouTube. It was YouTube Shorts, 170 million. It has 180 million. It has now, and it got me like stupid amount of subscribers. Yeah, yeah. the insane. view count didn't really change, so yeah. my views didn't really go up or down. 
maybe a little up, maybe if that. It was weird, but it only made me like it was like eight hundred bucks. Oh, wow. wow! Oh my god! Get hundred. I mean, just comparison. Let's just say. If you had 100 million views on a real YouTube video. Yeah. Oh, brother, Let's brother. just say a million views. It's some some 6.5 million views. Yeah. It's probably $1.5 million average. <clears throat> I think it, a 200 million, I was just doing the math because Mr. Beast's video got so many that Squid Games and I was averaging it. It's like $3 million in ad revenue. Mm. If it's between six to 12 grand every million. Till that tax man comes. Yeah, right. Oof. But I mean, that's life changing money. Bro, I didn't even uh, care for the money. Though. Well, I'm just saying, like, imagine you. Oh, you're, you're, it is. That's a full. That's your rest of your lifetime. But this in real is estate. something that you are oh. sitting just in your phone, and you're like, "Yeah, I mean, I'll post yep. it." And I you're strictly, like, bro. I didn't even expect it. I just posted it as if it was any other video. It blew up, so I kept on posting it. Yep. All in all, it's probably made me like two thousand dollars, which Jesus. is like nothing. And it's a billion view video. When it comes to a billion views, it's nothing. Yeah, yeah. like nothing. Imagine just a billion like, view real YouTube video. I mean, you're making dude. like. Who tens knows? and tens of millions of dollars. Who knows? It was an absolutely insane video all in all, though. I, again, the best part of it is it was not planned. Yeah. Nor, no, yeah. super raw. It was in my camera roll yeah. for two That's and a half yeah. weeks. That was cool. I never even thought of it. It's posting. just legendary, dude. It's I can so post hard it right keep. now. I was sitting at Brian Barczyk's place, another guest you should have on. He's really cool. Um, we were just sitting there, and he's like, dude, this, this sound's going crazy. You should make a, a video to it. And it was like the... The like the one I posted recently. Uh -huh. I was like, oh, I'll throw the fish knocking out video right. over it. Hundred million views. I woke up. I'm like, bro, what? <laughs> woke up. How many, hundred million. How many followers are you gaining on TikTok from that? Uh, I probably gained over a million for sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's an insane platform though, and in the engagement used to correlate or and transfer really yes, well over it used to, to bring Instagram. So many people to YouTube and, and TikTok, it, it, like. Would just blow anything up. It's probably just flooded now. now though. It's not like remember I that told was you, your strat. Uh, so in one month, I went up eighty thousand subscribers because I was posting on TikTok. Yep. It's the most I've ever gone YouTube, up in a month. It YouTube was, it, used to be nuts. YouTube used to be so much better too. It was the platform was amazing. That's, the people way just gets so soft now. Can I get a punch in on this camera right here? Uh, you, YouTube, <laughs> they are. Crazy. We still love you. No, no. <laughs> it's still on me here. <laughs> I love you so much. I actually would do anything for you. Drop, drop all of my other socials just to have YouTube. So would just, you? He's trying to say something like this. Oh, I'm, just, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but seriously, all right, moving on. On to our segment. We love you too. Yeah, we do. We do. I love you too. No, honestly, YouTube's given us everything we have. So it, it has it's indeed. A, it's crazy. It's and the peeps watching. You know? Yeah, for sure. And uh, so, all right. So we have a segment talking about TikTok. Everybody gets on TikTok. You see some weird stuff. You yeah. see some great stuff. I the, see some great stuff. The algo <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> the, <laughs> the eye Real contact with stuff. the camera. This guy <laughs> is amazing. Sorry. Uh, so everybody knows TikTok has one of the craziest algorithms. Like if there's something you like, TikTok will find it and it will continue to feed you the craziest stuff. And yeah. uh, so we have a segment called What's Your Talk? That's what we're naming it right now. Oh. If you got on TikTok right now, what is a weird trend you're on? Because we know what everybody's pretty much seeing, right? Oh, but oh, everybody we gets weird know. trends, right? I only have one thing. Weird trends. What do you got? <laughs> Paul dance videos or what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, babe, are you watching this podcast? <laughs> I, I mean, oh. just some dances, some dancing of some, <laughs> some people. He's got the he's got the ones where it's like. No. Ah, oh yes. And the, and the yes guy I goes, do have those. <laughs> I have those happen daily. What you looking at, bro? When I mean you go on his TikTok, mine's not nearly. As, it's every swipe. No, it's not. <laughs> it's Let not. me see your phone. No, no it's dude, dude, dying. Hold on. I'm every not gonna, swipe. I'm not Hold gonna on. show it. I'm we gotta see it. his first. If his first one, <laughs> like Brother, refresh. No, when it. I mean, okay, 15, here. 20 in a row. Let's see. It may, may, maybe. Yep. Oh my God! It started with it. Dude, watch swipe, swipe. Dude, maybe see. Oh, we, have no, we have no, no service. No service. Hold Bet. Hold on. No, no, no. Oh, he's gonna no, share. No, no. We got Wi-Fi. We got oh, Wi-Fi. No, we got dude. Wi-Fi. Regardless, on. it is. This is insane, awful. Dude. This is bad. So huh? bad. Okay. All right. That's fair. <laughs> that's fair. Uh, are you on anything crazy right I'm, now, dude? My, my typically it's the same exact thing. Um, but, <laughs> but, I'm, but, but is I'm, it bad? <laughs> I'm just getting free. But listen, I'm not gonna here. lie to you. Check your phone. Oh, share, 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 share. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my God! I accidentally. What the? My bad, bro. It was under pressure. I got nervous. How the f you think swipe now? 
Honestly, it's it's crucial, crucial timing. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Travis, check your phone. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to share hotspots. Seriously. <laughs> to see it. All right, oh, dude. Let funny. me. Brandon's dumbass. All right, <laughs> dude, he literally swiped <laughs> God head, damn it. Dude. <laughs> dude, it's going to get it. It's uh, Ocean. <laughs> he wants it too. Isn't he married? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. yeah. Uh, all right. So, Paul, what, I don't, what do you got? I don't have like a specific thread. I think if I went on mine, it's everything from like fishing, hunting, women, uh, dances, viral funny memes. Yeah. I funny stuff. Like, so you're just pretty chill. Dude, it's just like a scatter. It's just yeah. random stuff every single you slide. You know, Tristan's is pretty interesting. I'm not going to lie. What's, what are you seeing on TV? <laughs> Tristan was just on baby talk. Don't let him fool you, dude. There were babies. Tristan, you having a baby soon? Dude, he's in car accident talk. I've seen <laughs> so many cars. <laughs> really? oh. oh, there we go. We're on to something better now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. So, Maya. Oh, we got it. Oh, see, oh. Brother, wait. Just, just give it a second. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to refresh. It's connected to the Wi-Fi. It's all. This is not good. It's not good. No one clip this. Okay. This is amazing. All right. So all he's right, so Tristan. Far, oh, we're good. That's easy. Look, look. So right. so far, we're good right now. Right. Nothing. Give nothing? it a swipe. Oh, I no. think that's a lagged one. Oh, oh, uh -oh. Okay, okay. That's a, right. just health. Right. That's a health thing. See, wow, see, dude, oh. you're really okay. So this is where I wanted to go. We're winning. We're winning at the moment. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh oh. 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 We just watched a girl break her leg on oh TikTok. She just tore ACL. That's what oh happened to me. Oh my god! Yeah, Tristan has a torn ah. ACL right now. And she's gone. That's she's, enough. She's, of that. she's gone. She That's evaporated, dude. That. Oh my oh. god! Oh goodness! What the hell's going on? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. It's way weirder than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have got the Wi-Fi for this kid. Oh, uh, so that was awful. We, we've been on all kinds of weird TikTok trends. We've had uh, bullfrog sumo wrestling talk. We've had crows can speak human talk. We've had. Oh, I've seen those ones. Uh, what was it? Car accident talk or something like that. Today's really, really bad. Really, Today, really sad. My TikTok. We do this segment on every pod. I like this segment for sure. Because, dude, you get funny ones. And it's funny to see who your friends, like what weird shit your friends are getting. Yeah, yeah. Today, I got my page completely transformed. Yeah, it's just really? I, one I have, thing right I now. have been on construction talk where they're doing like funny <laughs> construction videos, buildings yeah, falling hey, buddy, down. buddy, you know that guy? Hey, buddy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? You didn't want your whole driveway paved, did you? All right, Dean. <laughs> and he's like, you know, whatever. You're actually pretty good at it. Yeah, man. buddy, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we've listened to about a hundred. Dude, you know what I like to watch on TikTok? I like it a lot. When it pops up my stuff, I watch like 30 minutes of it. It's literally, you know Hector who always helps me build everything? Yes. Dude, these Hispanics are crazy builders. And I just watched them with Spanish music in the background. Really? There's nothing else to it. It's just Spanish music, and they're building drywall, a house, or like a roof. That's pretty oh, satisfying. Oh, I was on that. One guy was like just drilling yeah. the drywall. Just bum, really bum, 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 I was like, bum, bum. Dude, and I can yes, watch what? that for like hours. All day long. I do get stuck on that. Construction talk. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's a big thing. It's a solid It's a solid area on Fla TikTok for sure. Flair was just talking about this. He said oh, construction YouTube is going to be the next like front. It's yeah, well, he probably has a great point because... Everyone likes to know how to build things. Well, yeah. It's yeah. kind of like... He's going DIY with Anyone in Home Depot, where they go to find out how to build something or fix something or do anything is YouTube. I would yep. watch construction TikTok or construction YouTube because, yep. I mean, I redecorated the whole mini house. and I, we, I won't, I'm too cheap to pay anyone. So, like, I have to learn somehow. Yeah. It was pretty cool the way he, he talked about it. He said uh, a good way to know when something is about to explode, like a, a genre. He said, if somebody has like 20,000 subs and their videos are getting like 15 to 20,000 views. Oh, or he said, bro, that's so true. He said like the biggest, like, I think he said there's only two channels in construction YouTube that have a million subscribers. And he was really? like, there's so much room for more. So yeah, he's going to take Smart. over that front. It's going to be so interesting. He talked about it on the pod, but well, not necessarily just him. He, Oh, he's no, no, no. Coaching up. A right. Guy, yeah. Yeah. Basically. But it's really it's kind of like Old a whole, guy. yeah, that's smart though. No, it's super cool. So I, I really thought that was interesting, but God, that man's a genius. Uh, my TikTok completely changed. Really? Right now, it is all Russia, Ukraine stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm seeing a little bit of that. Dude, my, like, I haven't got anything else. Really? I, I literally saw a video today where, this might have been on Instagram, definitely was on Instagram, where 
these people are in their homes we, and a fighter we jet saw it. comes we over. Saw it. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, it's crazy. Dude, it's, it's nuts. I try not to watch that stuff because it's it sucks to watch. Yeah. So like I'll try and scroll past it so I don't get on my feed and somehow it still ends up there. If, but it's brutal. If you read the comments, it's pretty crazy. Uh, this isn't also not a political podcast. We're just kind of like, it's an interesting thing that's happening right now. It's like social yeah. media. All the comments are like, you're not telling me I'm about to watch a whole war unfold on TikTok. Yeah, right? and then yeah, and then yeah, a yeah. lot. There's a lot of people this has that never are just happened like, before. No, because social media wasn't Bro, like that when World this War is yeah. never, I never thought about. There that. was what? a Russian paratrooper floating, floating down, floating down, and down he's with his vlogging. Put it on TikTok, exactly. dude. He's landing on Ukraine land, bro. Just like crazy, flying in. Bro. yeah. So listen, just this. drifting in parachute. P- these these kids are commenting like, "Where are we dropping, boys?" Like this isn't a game. Oh no, yeah. Oh yeah. They he don't said even... he's. He, oh no, no, bro. He's just picking up his loadout. He's good. Yeah, dude. Yeah, bro. people don't. This, meanwhile, this family's getting blown up in their house. Dude, that's what I'm saying. That guy could be gone now. Like, yeah, that's yeah no, it's crazy. It's crazy. I so, didn't think about how you can literally view all that stuff nowadays. Just something that. I never expected, right? Like, you know, like all this stuff happens, you know, war happens, but Mm -hmm. my whole life was built, well, not my whole life, but like my adult job career was built on social media and now seeing these two weird things collide in such a weird way where I'm like going and laughing at bullfrogs wrestling each other to now seeing like paratroopers vlogging their invasion. I'm like, what the hell? Well, think about it. The closest thing you've ever seen to like war would be the black and white pictures in our history books growing up. Yeah, not like actual straight it. up videos. Yeah, it's it's uh, nuts. It's absolutely insane. Some of the craziest stuff you'll probably see coming up here in the next Dude, couple weeks. Yeah, I really wonder what is all going to unfold with that situation. I don't I don't know enough about it to really speak. I'm on a, it, I'm uneducated as that's well. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I would like to be educated on it. So that's crazy. Well, I want to get on a happier topic. Yeah, and first. I've got I've got some I've got some questions. <laughs> Let's do it, fanatic. You have a interesting way of making money. You always have. You do weird hustles. I have called Fanatic randomly at one point and I said, I don't know if it's YouTube. I don't know if it's Pokemon. I don't know what it is, but you will win. <laughs> I don't know what avenue, but a kid that like does all the things that you do, you're going to win in some form. And I cannot wait in five years Thank for this you, to Brandon. be clipped. Bro. See, that I, was, I love that. That's awesome, dude. One of the ways I did not agree with though. Yeah. Was the feet pictures? Was sold. the feet pictures? Bro. I already knew that one. I didn't even look. I have it written not, down right we here. Did not prep that. But also, hey, I, uh, no, it wasn't. I, but I also, was, I was super proud of you for that. I, no, I'm pr- I'm proud as hell. But Bro. I want to know how much money you made in feet pictures. So first day, because I, I have feet. First day, I, I don't have pictures. Pokemon Listen, cards. People were buying these for twenty dollars. Nineteen ninety nine. Are they guys or girls buying them? Um, both. Both <laughs> primarily sold a hundred of them the first day. For so 20 so here's bucks what I did. <laughs> what I did is I laid in my bed. Wait, really? Yeah. You yeah, made no, 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 two no. grand the first day on feet picks? Well, I should have made more. But <laughs> so <laughs> he's like, there, that's only a grand a foot. Are you? <laughs> oh so I what I did is I was in my bed. I was laying down and I was like, you know what? These are some ugly ass feet, but but they have potential. So I went and washed them off, shaved them up a little bit, yeah. laid it, laid on my bed, put the light on there, took a nice picture, <laughs> went on Pixar, blurred around my foot. You know, upgraded the saturation, everything like that. Had a boy. Went to Walmart, had them printed. The lady was a little confused that I printed 500 pictures, Whoa. but uh, brought them back home and made a fire promo. I mean, no, you did it voiceover and everything yeah. from a professional voiceover yeah. actor. That's one of those things that people purchase. I don't think for the foot picture. It's like I have to the support moment. this. Yeah, yeah you know it's the I mean? moment. That was the thing. It's, I was, it's, I was, it's the like Mr. Beast when he did the Squid Games merch. I bought excess small kids merch. Like three hundred dollars in merch just to support the video. I, I'm like, because it's so much work mm. that's put into it. See, I think it's like the whistling diesel. How he's selling truck molds yes, right now. Same thing. He's well, just taking hundred fifty dollars for that thing. Yeah. No, I saw that too. I saw that too. And he sells ten thousand of them. Bro, that's the thing. It's just like I own this, and it was in this video from this that's person. That's all it is. And yeah. it's cool. And you didn't was, even have to cut your feet off. You still have your feet. Yeah, literally, that's the thing. It's sick. I it's think sick. next you sell toenail <laughs> clippings. Whoa, oh hold on, hold on. my gosh! Yeah. Listen to this. Listen well, to no, this no, I have my next one. It's bath water. Uh, oh my, my gosh, one. Bro, dude. little vials of bath water but, I'm about to start sending out. What if you did a plot twist where it's an empty vial and you say, P.S., I don't take baths. Oh my gosh. And then send them another That's package. That's actually farts. Funny. Send them farts. I, I saw oh, a, girl a lady that was on OnlyFans. Made like a million dollars, bro. Sending farts, real ones. And people were opening them Tristan and Tristan farts them. all the time. I can dude, command I can... fart. Oh, really? Dude, <laughs> why'd you look at me like that? If you fart all the time. So the yeah, but I can't be like. I fart. <laughs> Tristan will just shit himself. Oh, shit myself. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Before we get too far down that.
fucking rabbit hole. <laughs> um, there was a time where I was just like, OnlyFans was going crazy or whatever, mm -hmm. or as far as like on social media. I think all I know where you're going, people, and this was brilliant. All these different people are like, OnlyFans, blah, blah, blah. When OnlyFans was like just started, maybe yeah. everybody's like, all these people are making all this money off of it. And dude, there's some weird people out there. Or maybe they're just great people <laughs> that they're like, <laughs> you should start at OnlyFans. You start at OnlyFans. Like, I'm like, what? It was this me and his DMs. So weird. So one day I'm like, screw it. I posted a new video on YouTube and I was like, uh, hey guys, not proud of this, but if you want to check out my OnlyFans, click this link. Really? So many clicks. No. People were commenting on the YouTube video. I thought you really got an OnlyFans. Blah, blah, blah. Like dot, dot, dot. Sad. Upset about it. So what, what I'm would telling you, put you on there, you know, now you like, can put links or whatever. I didn't no, even say it I was a link to a, his YouTube video. It was a link to his YouTube video of treasure hunting or something. Oh. But he said on Instagram, he was like, this is my only fan. Swipe up, bro. You finessed everyone. Yeah, oh. but now you can write what yeah, the you link can put is. So you could put OnlyFans and it's a link to your YouTube channel. <laughs> OnlyFans <laughs> forward slash fanatic. And oh, then they dude. just click on it dude. and it's just like... <laughs> Starts the video. What's going on, Kferos? Welcome back to another video. <laughs> They're like, what the... F this is not what I just... Well, I was going to watch the video anyways. Might as well. That's well, smart. I'm here now. Funny, I'm going to use yeah. that. That's yeah. pretty now, good, right? It. It's yeah, I have an idea. I'm gonna do that, but actually do the OnlyFans. <laughs> That's what I'm Dude, do. I cannot believe I told him this that, that Brenton has not made an OnlyFans. No, out of everyone at this table, well, that side of the table could definitely do it. Dude, yeah. I feel like that we side of the rock table one. definitely could do we it. Could rock a dual you guys one. could do it together, honestly. Me back yeah. in the day. Me now, I'm married. Like I can't do that shit. No, but I mean? mean, now you're married, bro. She can't go anywhere, bro. I'm <laughs> totally stuck. kidding. I am totally kidding. That is a Look, look, look. That's hold a on. joke. Hold on, hold on. I'm we we've been well. We haven't done it yet. This is the first what, time. Whoa, yeah, we haven't done what yet. Listen, yet. We, as in us, oh, haven't oh. filmed another section of podcasts. Like I haven't been able to come back down to Florida. Why are you looking so stupid right now? I'm really confused of what we're doing. I fly down once a month to film I, podcasts. We haven't had that chance yet. So I'm like, hey, babe, flying down to Florida to film podcasts. We're just taking like high quality pictures of me oh. naked. <laughs> For the OnlyFans. Oh my gosh, dude. He's She's really trying to go me. in with this. Let's do it. Bro. Listen, that's you guys. Dude, what are, what are you I'm doing? I'm so down. Well, <laughs> I'm so <laughs> down. Like, I'm I mean, totally fan kidding. fanatic poses and just tapes a little uh, Pokemon card. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> He's just I'm like, telling you, I would you make sell your racks. Dude, that's how you sell well, your Pokemon Now I've also... <laughs> Tristan's like, I'll just sell <laughs> Oh One of the God. things, I don't know if you guys know, but people will make like a, like clubs, right? Like you can have a club that you subscribe to on YouTube, oh, which is, this is which is really cool. But yeah. you could also do that with OnlyFans because of the way it works and you'll get a better cut with them. And it's it's essentially, Bro, you don't have to, um, you don't have to post you naked anything. on OnlyFans. You could just like post bloopers or you could post, you know, unfiltered <laughs> content on there. And people will subscribe. I've seen someone do it with just straight up YouTube videos yeah. and he makes so much money per month. This is where the uh, the hunting community is going to have to go. Yep. Yeah. OnlyFans. Yeah. Only fans. Yeah. I'm, I'm totally with it. It is uncensored to the max. Wow. One thing I did want to talk about, I've never got to ask you this, about your whole channel getting hacked. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bro. Yeah. I remember all of that drama going on and I, I, I really got to ask, what was that like? It was like I, my I, world ended. I was going to say that, that must have been like the worst thing on yeah, the planet. Like your life's over almost. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, you're pretty it, much worthless. How long was no. it gone? <laughs> Just kidding. Four months. Oh my, oh four, my God. It was, it was peak. Um, blank this out. So it was like peak, like right when the pandemic happened. Yeah. Oh. So there was no one in the office. No one. I couldn't do anything. And then I had shitty managers at the time. Like it Dude, was so they, they planned that. Yeah, it's hundred percent. They planned that with the pandemic, bro. That's brutal. And the thing, I mean, I saw because you were flying then. You're almost at a million. I mean, you were. Yeah, I was. Moving. I was like, it. I had like multiple viral videos going up. Like, and they, every video was gone. <sighs> yeah, everything. Gone. Did you get them back? No. I mean, I had the content from like on hard drives, but that was it. <clears throat> See, boys. Remember what we said about saving footage? You know what's crazy? Yeah. I have never saved a video. That's really. crazy. I have everything I ever filmed. Same. But I look at it like your guys' stuff is so valuable. Yours Mine's, is too. It's your body of work for your lifetime, dog. Yeah, but at the same time, I feel like my thing, I just build and like build and then what's there is there. You guys do like this stuff. Like you'll never be able to look and find a Glock 19 in the ocean. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, like someone would just freaking start throwing them in there and make our job way f 
easier. Dude. Bro, I facts. could actually go throw a couple of cool. That's just that. I could totally throw some stuff <laughs> back there for you. Like, dude, fanatics like Brandon. I saw this crazy thing glistening in the ocean. <laughs> I could never do it. Fanatics just like. You should dive your backyard. <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of fish back there. I caught one before the pod. Just dive it. Bro. Just like dive it, dude. Autumn up, I get iced <laughs> out in, like the <laughs> in the bush. Well, I've asked you this before, Brandon, and you said for both of you guys, for kind of like y'all's crew almost, is a because I know a lot of YouTubers fake a bunch of shit, and it's Can't so easy it. to. Well, that's the thing. So, like, even f- catching fish, if you don't know, I know YouTubers out there who. <laughs> don't want to film it so they'll catch the fish re-put it on the hook start filming and then act like they set the hook just so they have better content and it's it's awful so i always wonder like it, it would be so easy to throw an iphone into the lake and go find it so i asked brandon i was like hey be real with me here man i won't, I won't tell anyone but do you have you ever like thrown anything in there and got it and you straight up were like no because Everybody it would ruin us. all of you guys it would ruin yeah it would ruin everything we built <clears throat> it's like dude you look at how much how much time do we have? Because I'd hate to cut here. Two minutes? Okay, cool. Sorry, we have to like reset the cameras every 30 minutes. <clears throat> so if we faked anything, right? Obviously, we're putting ourselves in the best position to find stuff. Yeah. You dive Jenny Springs when everybody's drinking on Memorial Day weekend. There's 20,000 people. Somebody's Fact. losing an iPhone. Yeah, 100%, 100%. Me, Jake, or Tristan are going to come across it. Yeah. It ain't that big. We're going to find it. So you got to put yourself in positions like that. And we're diving that river in one day, probably. We're going down a mile stretch, probably three to five times. What's the craziest thing you've ever seen? Oh, we'll get into that later. We're finding that type of stuff. Now imagine you've done all that. Mm -hmm. Life's getting hard. Can't really find much treasure. It's cold, whatever. You want to fake something. Yeah. You get caught. Everything you have ever done in all the thousands of of hours. Dude, everything. And not only that, dude, it's like me. My camera guy, the management team I'm with all rely on me making videos. Dude, Jake has hired his whole family. Why would he ever jeopardize all of that? It's a I great a, I, point. It's like, f- that, bro. It's just go find, like, <clears throat> if you find bottle caps that day, show how beautiful well, the place on. is. This is this is to prove <clears throat> if we were faking videos, I wouldn't, I'd be posting every day. Oh, yeah. You post. Facts. That's a great I, yeah. point. That's I haven't posted point. in two months. It, I posted my yeah. first video yesterday it's in, in two months because. It it's hard. Make content. That's also yeah. why I started the pond series years ago because in the cold season it sucks to get in the water. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine. So, so that's <clears throat> one thing about what I do, dude. I can make. Oh, dude, you, yeah, unlimited. You know, it's yeah. 18 degrees in Dallas right now. Like I don't, I don't even think I can get home tomorrow because it's going to be icy in there. <laughs> but I've, I, would, I, I, lie, I don't like, want to go there. Back in the day, I literally went to Walmart 3 a.m. I'd film two videos of little plastic things and I'd throw a minnow in it and then put the minnow back in the pond after it. And these videos were getting three million views. Bro, like, it's cr- like you, no question now. I could spend twenty five thousand dollars on a pond build, make absolutely no profit, but I do it because it's cool and fun. Yep, and they're great videos, and that's the reason why I do it to build the brand and build, get more like people to the channel. And like, do they get like three hundred k? I'm like, do do you know what, what I think? If well, I knew what I knew now, not to interrupt you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I knew, I now, wish I could say three hundred k. You sucked. <laughs> Dude, I'm well, no, no, no. My whole Hawaii series is maybe adding up to 300k right now. Three, and I put my life into that thing. Three, <laughs> 300k is not bad, but I don't consider it like with the amount of effort and money spent to make those videos. You expect spending 20 grand, you're gonna at least make your money back. There, that's you're not making your money back. Yeah. yeah, like those, and then I can go and do the most simple videos, like going and buying a goldfish and stocking an aquarium, and the video gets four million views. I'm like. So now it's I've insane. gotten to the point where I just kind of make whatever my body feels like to make. If I don't want to work, I am not uploading. If I don't want to yeah. upload, I'm not up. What I did I do that. yesterday? He was literally sitting there and he's like, nah. I, I'm <laughs> not uploading. I was like, I'm editing this stuff and I'm just like, I'm yeah. done. Like, I, I just don't feel like making a video See, right now. If and I'm not in the mood, can't do it. Yeah, That's how Tristan is. He's He's been not in the mood for two months until See, yesterday. See, I have four days <laughs> my Damn max. it, Tristan. At four days, I'm like... <laughs> I, I'm going, I'm posting it. That's no a good, what. that's a good mindset to have. You it's have like a certain day. You like, follow whatever you want, n- but there's a cap. Look at my channel. Yeah. Nothing more than four days I've posted mm. once every four days for the last three, four years. Yeah. That's awesome. The, the, I think the thing is, well, remember you used to be able to build a SpongeBob aquarium and it would get millions and millions of views. Yeah. What about trying that again? I'm afraid. Think? I feel like because I don't think you, bro, your content is so well put out there we were talking about like the there's because there's youtubers and and not hating on them who are just like so unbelievably kid friendly but i think you're there in the middle where you can 
you know, relate to teenagers, kids, oh, it's even not adults. I'm worried about who I'm relating to. It's worried about like my reputation. Like back then, I didn't care what people thought, and I still shouldn't. But putting a fish in a little, even though it's a minnow and it doesn't matter, the thing's going to go right back into a pond afterwards. It's like the fact that I'm finally gaining people's trust that I know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like finally, I've it's fish. It's not too hard. Things happen. You know, shit happens when you own a hundred fish. Like yeah. well, one's that's gonna one die. One's gonna jump out of a tank eventually. All these people With watching are animals. so. That's what I so, didn't like about that community, dude. They're I so hated perfect. That. They're so perfect. They Bro. never make mistakes. If you do something wrong, they rail you for it. Now I can care less about that. But what I do care about is like making very very good content and getting my engagement up. And it, that does that, but it's not in the right way. Mm. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I don't think I, I, I hear what you're saying, but like we were talking about the other day, what, what you said with the TikTok thing about, mm -hmm. oh, his friends weren't saving him. Why did he have the thing of, God, I just poked myself in the eye. I saw <laughs> that. Uh, why did he have the face mask on? Yeah. Like, how did he get knocked out by a fish? Blah, blah, blah. It could have been, it could have been so, so good. But I think, I think there's no such thing as, Bad engagement. No, you're 100% right. You know what I mean? And that's what he always tells me. He's like, just do it and see how it does. And I'm like, I think you I could. would do it if I had needed it. People have built so much trust up like in, in you and your reputation now because you've been doing, yeah. I mean, the most reliable <laughs> content. Yeah, myself. <laughs> you, just can't, you just can't keep it together, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's like this. All right. All right. I'm sorry. I'm laughing because I accidentally kicked <laughs> Yeah, Paul's and my head just goes like this. <laughs> and I, I knew it. Bro, I wish I saw that. I know I wish exactly I what happened. It tugged back, and I look, and I'm like, oh, I'm connected to his head with my... <laughs> <head."> anyway, <laughs> anyway, look, I'm, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm so out of this conversation now. I, I've got a, I got a question. Are we yeah. ready to move on? Or yeah, you guys no, wanna, regardless. The content I make is is extremely easy comp in comparison to you guys. I'm absolutely blessed to be able to make the content. Do you think you'll do it again, though? At one point? 100%. Bet. Thank well, God. Back I'm so in, even excited back for in the that day, day bro. Like our I love the feeling of being back in the day. Yeah. I'm sure all of you guys do. YouTube was like different then. Yeah. It's nostalgic. It's... It's sad when you you're talking about the good old days. Bro, you're not in the good old days. Facts, and I, I know wish you, you would have known. Everyone then. here understands but, that. But um, like I remember when you we could if you found an iPhone, viral. it was going viral. It was yeah. life changing, guaranteed. For you if you found a gun, that is changing your life. Yeah, yeah, changing your life. There was a point in time where me and Brandon, well, Brandon really, but there was a point in time where we were posting so many videos, just so many bangers finding these freaking phones and different stuff and guns. And it was a uh, hundred thousand subscribers in a month, another hundred sub thousand subscribers. Another Dude, I don't think I had anything less than 75,000 subscribers in a month and less than 13 million views a month. Yeah. Until about two years ago. It was, yeah, it now was it's 10. about cut in half and I make 10 times better quality, spend 10 times the amount of money. Yeah. And my stuff is 10 times cooler to watch. Yeah. And I make half the amount of money. It's That's crazy weird. how that works. But I remember watching you, Brandon. This is crazy that uh, you were or you were in Jake's video. Hype me up, bro. And you were you were in Jake's video. You didn't even have a, have a channel yet. Jake was like, Brandon's thinking about starting a channel. And you were like, yeah, I'm trying to get a GoPro. I remember watching this specifically. Oh. And you finally got the GoPro. And you were so stoked to make a video. I found it underwater, by and the way. And now look at you. No, That's he had insane. a channel. That was one of our first. This was like right before. I got pranked. No, we were already filming. Yeah. Yeah, I got pranked. It was it, it was just insane to watch. Yeah, no, we've come a long way. And then I ran into you at iCast, and I was like, oh, Brian, dude, I'm, I'm a big fan. And you were like, yeah, what's your channel? And you had watched one of my videos. Yeah, you had, your, your pond. My pond. You remember that? You know that, what's crazy uh, is Brenton was the biggest fan of me. I I, well, I loved I loved what Paul did and he so this is how me and Paul met. Dude, actually. this is nuts. This is crazy. So Paul was I was making primarily fishing videos, which by the way, shout out to John B because that's why I st I'm sure that's why a lot of us started. YouTube. Can we call him Daddy B now? Yeah, Daddy B would now be had a quite good. Daddy B. But uh, I would no, I was sitting there and I was making fishing videos. I was getting I had like nine thousand subs. I was getting like four thousand views a video though, which wasn't bad for nine thousand subs. What the hell are you looking for? Another Red Bull. Yeah, can somebody pass me one of those sugar free? Tape drinks. Oh yeah. Hey, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. All right. We're oh, he did. No, I was gonna like <laughs> oh, imagine <laughs> if what pops out. He's like, dude, I'm not editing your Red Bull into your hair, or the, the tape drink into your hand. All right, go ahead. How how you guys? But no. So I, I was getting I was getting like. <laughs> Next thing you do. Hey, do we have uh, some of that um, black uh, insulating drink Blue? material? Oh, it's right here. 
Yeah, go for it. Yeah, but no. So I, I mean, I had like nine thousand subs, and Paul had like eight thousand, and he just came up on my recommended one day, and I was like, oh, cool. You know, that's whatever. He makes fishing videos too, and then the next day I looked. And he had he had passed me in one day. I was like, "Who the hell gets a thousand subscribers in a day on YouTube? That's that's impossible." That's and impossible. Paul ha- Paul had like eleven thousand subs, and I had nine. And Paul had like eight thousand views on a video. And I was like, "How do you do that?" And I'm just sitting there, and it's on fishing videos, just fishing videos. And I was like, "Okay, that's dope." And I watched them, and they were uh, they were I mean, shit, they were pretty dope. And because I love Florida, I'd always wanted to go to Florida to fish, and the bass fishing was ten times cooler here, in my opinion, than Texas. And he just slowly kind of built his way up there. And I was watching, he got to about 40 K. I was at like 20 K. He was getting pretty decent views. I mean, really good engagement for just making fishing videos with all the other content creators out there. And then randomly I, and I always had this pond in my front yard. I never thought about filming it, but randomly one day he just posted this pond video and it just skyrocketed building a pond like 200,000 in a day. And I watched his channel just go like YouTube back then. You, you would yeah. get so many subscribers oh off views like gosh, that. Dude. So I'm sitting here and I'm like, damn, these videos are dope. I have a pond. I was like, I, I mean, I don't want to film it because I don't, I don't want to copy anyone. And of course, there were so many people copying Paul the second he made that without asking him. So I DM'd him on Instagram and I was like, hey, dude, I'm not going to film this if you don't want me to film it. Uh, and that's what I liked about him. So when he sent me that message, I was like, dude, I like this kid. And I was at the time working with Greg who built all the ponds. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I want to. I asked Greg because we were doing a bunch of ponds for people, and I was like, "We got to build Brenton a pond." So we and went he to his house, flew out, built a badass pond in the backyard, Dude. and that's how I met Brenton. And then from there, we just like slowly became friends. But at the beginning, you know, we just found each other through for yeah through content. And I think for like a year, I flew back most. I mostly flew to Florida. He flew to Texas a few times, and we were pretty close. And then another year went by, and it was kind of the same. I didn't fly there as much. And then like one more year went by, and I probably flew to Florida to go to Paul's house, like. 30 times in the year. Yeah, that was crazy. Like multiple times a month. And we became like, like interlocked. Yeah. Um, and dude, we were doing like everything together. And I think this year, I mean, we've already flown here like five times. Like we flew here for the day, the other day. Like yeah. I was on the phone with Paul and he was like, I saw that dude. Saw that. We, he, we were I on, saw we that. were on the phone and he was like, I was like, what's a good video. He's like, fly to Florida. 30 minutes later, we were on our way to the airport. Yep. I saw literally that. It, for one day. It's, it was insane. It's really good to have a, uh, like partner when it comes to YouTube and it's like, uh, just like YouTube. Yeah. It's, I was going to say it's very similar to us. I mean, we obviously live super close at one point in time, but now yeah. we actually started the podcast, not only because we really want to like take over that Avenue and see what that's about. And we genuinely enjoy it, but it also puts us together a week out of every month. Now it like gives us a reason to hang yeah. out, which I mean, is you guys have been boys for a while though. Right? Yeah, no, we've been boys for a almost minute. 10 years now. Yeah. yeah that's, that's crazy. crazy. Yeah, we've lived together for seven of those years. So that's yeah. nuts. Bro. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm really like betting on this podcast because dude, Tristan believes in this a ton. And yeah, I, right, I really, so, I really want to just run this thing. And, uh, if, when I can make videos, make videos, but really just focus on this. It's sick, um, and you get to meet so many people and understand their way of living. And it's it's cool yeah. to have convos like that. You understand yeah, different yeah. perspectives. I don't want to stop look. making videos. Do you ever look around, and you're just like, every single one of these people live a different life. Yes. So Dude, weird. I, I can't. Okay. That's what I feel like podcasts bring out, though. Yeah. And that's why people love them. Yep. My brain can't comprehend that, uh, that like there's stuff going on in other places. I don't know how to explain yeah, it. Yeah, we always talk about this. When we go to a, like a really cool place like Hawaii or something like that, yeah. it's like this beach, the waves are going to keep on crashing. The people are going to keep on surfing. Like My brain can't comprehend that. Like they're the, out there right now, right now. surfing, yeah. diving, yeah. I have thoughts fishing. like that, and it's really cool. Got it. Yeah. It's it, really cool. It's so about weird. <clears throat> it is really it's super weird. weird. Speaking of that, we still got to make that trip to, to Puerto Rico to go dive. We should all do that. We should yeah. all go out there. Because cool. I know you wanted to go dive those waterfalls. Yeah. That would be crazy Dude, if we could go out there. Dude, you would find... Hey, oh, hey, you, hey, you know what hey, I'm talking hey, about. Me and Paul hey, went to Puerto hey, Rico. Hey, we're going to go hey, to B. Hey, <laughs> we have a real problem when we say we're going to go dive places. Every yeah. other person that doesn't even make YouTube videos, they're just like, hmm, I bet you I could find out. Let's go make a TikTok out of yeah. waterfall. Oh, so we're bleeping that. Yeah. yeah. Well, we All don't right. got to bleep it, but, but don't yeah, bleep go it. dive. Um, anyway, uh, so while we're talking about just like randomness and whatnot, I got a question. What not? You've got, can we call yours farm animals? Many exotic farm animals. Okay. Excuse me. You have many. <laughs> Don't even include the word many, farm. Many exotics. <laughs> many as in multiple or many as in tiny? Many as in tiny. Okay. So micro 
exotic micro. animals. Yes. Okay. And you have farm animals. Yeah. Okay. Got a lot of animals. He's got a few micros. Okay. So let's pretend. Oh, we just had a light go out. No. Sorry, man. I didn't charge the lights the way I was supposed to. I plugged it in. Must not have charged. My bad. Whatever. Oh, life's all good. Let's just pretend. Fanatic, Paul, they get into a heated battle. With they're, our animals? They're like, you know what? We oh, don't like need a, to do like this a, out. It's like a Pokemon battle. Oh, yeah. there you go. I think Brenton's got the dub. He's got alpacas. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. You're just going to straight give it to him? I, was gonna, I thought we were going to work this out. Like have, real you ever, conversation. have you ever seen giraffes fight? Giraffes yeah. with the neck stab. Yep. That's what my packers do. The alpacas would be taking the pigs out left and right. <laughs> they stomp. They bunny hop and stomp. Dude, yeah. <laughs> the also, only chance is Gary, and he's got two of what, them. So. Gary, <laughs> Gary is what? My goose. Oh, oh, yeah. So you've got a ferocious goose too. Oh, he's mean, dude. Because I know yours is. No one wants to mess with my goose, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I got a mean goose. Yeah. That sounds weird. <laughs> <laughs> you could check it out in the link in the description yeah. below on my own. Brendan's, Brendan's definitely got that dub. Dang. So you're just going to give that to him? I'm going to give that to him. All right. Yeah, but my, my backers are also kind of put. So they, yeah. uh, well, I just got to give it uh, give it about like three more months and I'm going to have emus and I'm gonna yeah take, then I'm, I'm done Paul's take Paul's out. taking me out then. yeah yeah damn emus are gonna be pterodactyls I bro literally mini t-rexes running whenever around. I was a kid I had an emu when I was a kid at my grandparents did you yeah, like it it chases some. around yeah. see that's what I'm saying Nuts. I'm done I'm gone Paul's got the me on craziest that craziest looking thing running at you well, I'm training him to destroy Brenton when he walks in my house kill <laughs> bro that's our type of content so I would totally appreciate that 100% that's crazy you and I are close fanatic yeah you like getting close. <laughs> you, <laughs> you you like getting close to people. Sometimes a little what, too close. What, 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 <laughs> him and his cameraman, dude. Some sometimes they like getting too close, bro. bro. Some sometimes you like getting a little too close in in congested traffic in the state of Texas. Oh, f you, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> he totaled his truck right in front of me. He totaled it right in front of me. I was behind him in my tundra. Oh, I remember. This. And dude, he just. He he just took a ram somebody. Dog. He just took a, he it's took a knife and was just cutting out the airbag. Yeah, like, yeah, dude, no, no, no. Oh my god, we got to get into this. All right, so where are we going? Somewhere in South Texas, we're gonna go treasure hunt and uh, San Marcos River in Austin. Oh, uh, we would never treasure hunt there. Oh my god, oh, weird. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere in Texas, let's yeah. Get back to that. <laughs> okay, now Jesus, definitely not that place. So <laughs> we're going somewhere in Texas to treasure hunt but we had to drive literally i think it was like two and a half three hours something like, like that three hours. everything in texas you want to go to the gas station three hour drive good luck bro it's not like the damn it bro everyone texas. thinks that <laughs> no, no it's, it is texas florida is, is no i don't want any more people to move here no, all right i'm coming i'm coming anyway anyway whoa <laughs> we'll keep it over there then uh so <laughs> oh my God. anyway we're I'm uh, coming i'm coming, <laughs> I'm coming guys <laughs> I did say something about we're going to jizz earlier. In the yeah, you did. Uh, right now. All right. Anyway, so we're in traffic and uh, we're on like actually like an overpass. We're kind of like on this bridge thing, right? Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. And uh, Fanatic, before we left, he was like, hey, man, I was doing something. I got hella wood in the back of my truck. Dude, so <gasps> Bro, much wood. I forgot. Yeah. That. Dude, the back of his truck was slapped full of chopped wood. Like, I'm talking about full. Like, he could barely put the cover <laughs> over the back of his truck. He was like, should we oh take this out before we leave? Because, like, gas mileage and shit. I was like, that's a lot of wood. <laughs> that's no, like, quick five-minute task, bro. That's like a, I'm shit about to be wood. sweating and shit after this <laughs> deal. And uh, he's like, all right, whatever. We'll just leave it. You know, I'll just eat whatever gas money that is, whatever. It's just extra weight. No big deal. Turns out when you got a freaking ton of wood in the back of your truck and There's you need no your stopping. brakes fairly quickly, <laughs> inertia is not your friend. <laughs> Dude, I was gone. I was sliding. Well, the thing is, so the car just was right in front of me and crashed into the car in front of them. So in return, I crashed into that <laughs> car, but all my wood went through my window in the back. Dude, no. like, the bro, wood is technically what totaled his bro, truck. Bro, I probably was could have stopped. in the, the back of the truck? No. I was behind him. Oh, yeah, but Bra no was the right back seat. No, no that would have been dude. Imagine, been toasted, bro. <laughs> toasted imagine that wood. what I saw, dude. I literally saw wood <laughs> levitate and go for it, <laughs> like a magician was just like, come on and attack, <laughs> bro. It was bad, bro, bro. And we were sitting there, and I'm like, all right, all the airbags went off, destroyed me, <laughs> and I'm sitting there, and Brayden is like, so we pull over to a gas station, make well, sure everyone was getting towed. 
but me. Yeah. So everybody was jacked. Like their cars were jacked up. And especially the nice, you confused young lady that was in front of Fanatic. Bro, that, I was, she, she got she got freaking whiplash because she hit somebody. And then Fanatic <laughs> just gave her a hot one from the <laughs> she rear. She tried dog. to sue me. <laughs> she did? Yeah. Did she win? She, no, she didn't win. It was, um, it was, I think they blamed the accident on her. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It was a it was an interesting situation, but then all the cops were there evaluating all the vehicles in the in the uh, accident. accident there at the gas station. And uh, Fanatic was like, "Can I my truck run? Can I drive home?" And they were like, "Yeah, I mean, I would recommend like maybe getting rid of the airbags that are all on your way because he had the window one, he had the one coming out the feet." Dude, everything. you had airbags feet. everywhere. Bro, I didn't yeah, know there were so airbags. many airbags Dude, there in Tundra. Were, there were airbags they are, everywhere. That's why they everywhere. say Toyota's the safest. Bro, yeah. they were everywhere. They really were. My that's knees nice. destroyed from them, but they were there. So we all had, and you know this kid, bro. If there's anybody who can make a video at with anything at any time, it's this guy. Yep. <laughs> Dude, I swear half the stuff I do on a daily basis I just like, I'm doing it. I turn around and Brendan's like, yeah. I'm like yeah. Dude. That's such a good representation. I'm, I'm like, bro, why are you filming right now? He's like, oh, this is great. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Dude, we had Guggen, uh, this, I don't know if I, I mean, this is fine. God, There's yeah. this skiv knife company that like Guggen or like, I think like Rob was doing or something. But I remember one of the guys there was like, hey, we're not doing anything with these knives. Take as many as you want. We were like, as many as we want or just like take one they're like no seriously we can't do anything with them so we never took, seen so many knives in we my took life. a couple of each and we put them in the pelican case on the top of my truck because like dude knives don't go bad right it's like yeah. they're brand new knives yeah. that's the knife i cut myself open with in brazil oh sick yeah. nice man Anyways, so you know exactly what i'm talking sharp. about we had everybody had knives we were all <laughs> cutting out airbags dude and fanatic's like all right guys. he was like hold on hold on wait till wait till we get the cameras out all right guys so i just got in a car accident i'm cutting out the airbags we're about to go treasure hunt with brandon i'm like wow Bro, and Brand, brandon Bro. kept being like are you sure you don't want to turn around and go home because none of my seatbelts worked because oh yeah also that dude none of my seatbelts so worked. you could drive your truck though no she but was, it ran she ran just fine she ran and then you know what was funny is uh with his crashed vehicle he was like uh, we were looking at it. He's like, oh, well, what do you think, man? I was looking at it. I was like, well, your fog lights don't turn on. I think that's about the worst like mechanical thing. He was really? like, oh, they've never turned on. I was like, really? I go in there. I was like, oh, that's the button. I turned it on. He's like, never knew I had fog lights till I got in an accident. I was like, these are awesome. <laughs> they turned right on. Travis was making fun of me for it too yeah. when it happened. But yeah, sure enough, we were only about an hour in. We had two hours to go. And uh, we cut out all the airbags and continued driving all the way down. It was the most badass thing ever me i would have been like damn you know trips over i'm flying home i'm doing you know whatever yeah. but i also was like bro are you sure because i felt like he didn't want to ruin what i was trying to do and i was like bro i don't you know i don't care like i don't need this video like that bad whatever no, right brenton looks at it like this just made it 10 no it better. did it made his day bro yeah. it really so made happy. his day he was <laughs> like and then bro after that he was like so found out how much I'm getting in insurance. Bro, this was so badass. All right, I paid $22,000 for the truck. Insurance gave me thirty three grand. Shoot. Yeah, I was so happy. Best car accident I've ever gotten. And he's like, I got a tight on thumbnail. Oh, yeah. 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 Was, oh, yeah. I got a tight on thumbnail. And I got a tight on thumbnail. I'm pretty sure. Brandon probably just saw the back of that truck. He was like, I'm just going to smash into this. No, thing. I'm pretty <laughs> sure you were asking the cops. You're like, hey, you guys want to be in the title or you want to be in the thumbnail? Bro, yeah. I was like, pull over, turn the lights on for us. Yeah. Like, I was like, this, please. Dude, the thumbnail is fire too. No, it was I mean, good. It, I think got a hundred thousand views. Yeah, it's great it's video. It's great, man. I mean, car accident. We dove the river. Yeah, uh, a lot happened in that video. Dude, Gosh. I I almost totaled my truck. Yeah. No, we all have. Yeah. So I well, you, Paul backed into a pole the other day. I got a call from Brandon. <laughs> Dude, just got in a car accident. Truck's totally fine. Person pulled out in front of me. You should see this car. I ripped a car in half with my Tundra, bro. Dude, I'm not surprised. Your Tundra is massive. I drove my Tundra for eight months after that and just waited for like my new bumper to come in. And by the way, I only got that because there was like a nick on it. <sighs> yeah, oh it was God. crazy. This I person can't pulls open out, the car. Like, can't open it, it. It was nuts. And he's like, dude, I'm, I'm driving home right now. I'm like, what? All, the only thing that happened is I had a winch hook. So the hook buttons up to the plate with the pressure of the winch. Yeah. All it did was knock the hook off the plate and I just had to tighten my winch back up. Everything was fine. A week later, everything. I get in a car accident. I don't have a still bumper. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was also more of a fanatic kind of guy. He liked to take somebody by the rear. 
Somebody oh just gosh. ran a stop sign and I, I just gave him the so good old one So mine was super two. weird. I, I wasn't like, oh, let me see if I can hit this. <laughs> but I was driving and was just like totally blanked out. Wasn't on my phone or anything. Just totally blanked out. And there was this one spot where you can just drive. It's one of those curves where you don't have to stop and go. Yeah. You can hit it at like 60 miles an hour. Yeah. So this car was in front of me and I'm just driving. And uh, I had to slow up at an intersection. I drive up and this guy... There's not, thankfully there's not a car in front of him. I mean, uh, coming this way. So he's right here. And instead of just turning, he goes, puts on the brakes, hits the blinker and goes. And I'm just like, right in. Yeah. Drill him. His car goes a hundred yards. Mind you, this guy, he, he was like, he, it seemed like he was trying to get a settlement. Like, oh, I hate those. People, I, bro. I get, I get out of my truck. I, my truck is messed up. Yeah. I get out no, of my I truck. No, I thought T's truck was total. As soon as he sent me a picture, I was like, that sucks. I get man. out of my truck. I run over to him. He's already laying back in his his thing. Like, oh. If you can't, if you're, like, if you're oh, just listening, no. T is like in the full lay back recline I'm position. Like, He's about to screw me, bro. And like, it was weird. Like I didn't see any brake lights or anything. So it was just a weird situation. But yeah, I feel like everything happens in slow motion when you get next. Yeah. Was it, did it, was it on you? Yeah, it was my fault. Um, but dude, it was nuts. I like the the uh, shock that you get from like an mm -hmm. accident, bro. It's like a straight adrenaline. Yep. And then the next day, my wrist, bro, my neck was just tore up. What did you yeah. have anything from the? Oh accident? yeah, I mean, I was uh, limping around. The next day, we were at the hotel. <laughs> yeah. I was still going. Did we have to get the video? <laughs> he was like, I broke my leg. <laughs> next video, but title, it was I fine. broke my leg. <laughs> next day, my was dead <laughs> woke up next day my was dead. oh man all right well i think we're getting to the end of this pod it's been a pretty long one i think this is one of our Dude, that was a very so like unique podcast i feel like we spoke yeah. about a it? lot of different topics yeah which it was, was nice cool. all over i feel place. like a lot of the times when you listen to podcasts it's very similar for a different person yeah, right that's it. Mm -hmm. yeah this is like nice this was uh very refreshing well yeah. I, I got i don't want to have a nice thing of water like, yeah dude i got you that mac daddy water oh, over there something clutch <laughs> that double hand freaking gold <laughs> 3000 <laughs> attaboy oh attaboy <laughs> there's, there's nothing left to the last <laughs> drop well i want to i want to get uh one last note from you guys. I just think it's interesting. I, we asked Flair this. I thought it was something maybe we should just start asking all our creator guests because it's super interesting. As you guys know, um, what, you stealing my freaking $250 card back or what? Yeah. <clears throat> Keep going. All right, that's fine. <laughs> Whatever. Um, as you guys know, we all do social media right now. That's our main income. Yep. Uh, I would... I think, right? Like everybody? Yeah, and held yeah. stocks, only fans. Would you guys yeah. you have everybody? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so one thing that's kind of interesting is like we just kind of fell into this. It's been like blessing all of us. It's been a really great journey. Yeah. Uh we'll start with Fanatic first. You got anything like after this? Not saying that there's like a no, hard like stop. Where do you see yourself in five years? Not even that. Anything? Just more of like, do you have any aspirations that like for you, you want to complete or like if this ended, like you want to do, you want to conquer that thing next? What's that for you? Okay. So there's one thing I want in life and that's a PSA 10 based at Charizard. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, gosh bro. Um, so I really, I just want that card just to like keep, but uh, no, I, I love entertaining. I think that's my favorite thing ever. I've been asked this question multiple times. Like, would you rather take like uh, followers or the money? And when you say followers, it sounds like, oh, you just want clout. That's not why I like it. I like the fact that we can, whether it's inspire or make people laugh, I, I love doing that. I would much rather have a massive fan base and less, mo and less money if I know I'm ch making an impact on people, you know, yeah. changing their days, stuff like that. I, I don't know why. I just think it's a... Uh, it gives me like a purpose. Like if you were to give me $5 million, dope, I can pretty much get everything I want. Well, then what do you do, right? Like then what mm -hmm. do you have to live for? I feel like I just have to uh, continue entertaining whether, I mean, I've even looked at a, which is just crazy and it's, it's way high up there. I don't know if I'll ever get there. I'd love to either do whether it's like something acting related uh, or have Fanatic be like Fanatic because it's Fanatic Media is technically uh, Fanatic Media LLC. I'd love to do like an actual media company where we hire on people who film whatever it might be, a mini movie, a show, something that goes on YouTube. I've thought about that. I mean... I just, say you're, just, you're interested in always doing the collecting cards. So I, I, I love collecting too, though. Yeah. Uh, I, I definitely like, I want that to be a thing for sure. Like I've taken handheld stocks very, very seriously. I mean, we got something in... I guess I could say it on here. I haven't said it anywhere yet. Yeah, this won't drop for a while. We don't know. I mean, yeah. You we got, so we, uh, 
You know, like Mr. Tackle Box? Yeah. Identical. We've made for collectibles. And uh, Dude, it's basically it is so sick. No the boxes are I custom think you like told that. Me about this, yeah, a little it's, bit. It's fire. but it's collectible Pokemon. So if someone likes Pokemon cards instead of tackle, it's literally just random packs every month. A subscription That's based sick, Pokemon dog. box. It looks identical to a Mr. Tackle box. It just has handle stocks on it, and uh, so we didn't get copyrighted. I personally drew the Pokemon. I traced them over so they're not identical yeah. to what the actual actual thing is. It's beautiful. And uh, and put it all the box designs are insane they're yeah. so badass and i had my little sister put one together last night on facetime because they arrived so i want to drop those really really bad and i want to see where that kind of takes me but yeah i kind of just want to develop everything together as one i don't like just doing one thing yeah uh, and but entertainment's probably my top thing then collecting and, and cards with everything like that i love and it I, sometimes i don't put that first but I, I really know i need to because in the back of my mind that's why i started it yeah and, uh, you know, my followers are one of the reasons the collectible company is as successful as it is. So I don't want to, you know, not consider that. I love the, uh, miss, I love the mystery box idea. Yeah. Do I you think see MTBs epic. in Walmart, bro? Yeah. No, they're everywhere. Let's say they're everywhere. Sick. Kill it sick. Yeah. No, I, I definitely see it. I, I think I told you, I, I've said it on this podcast. I've said it to you multiple times. You're going to win in some Avenue. I just don't know which one, but you'll win. And that thank just kind of proves that. It yeah. Proves thank it. you. That, that stuff means the world. Where are you at? After YouTube, let's just say it hard stopped. I know the answer. Like, I, I, yeah. Can I can I guess yours? Yeah. Real estate. Hundred percent. I knew it. Dude. Got it. Yeah. Kids, a freaking real estate tycoon at the age of what? Twenty one. Three houses at twenty one. Mind well, blowing. I had three at twenty. That's what I'm saying. Mind blowing. First house at eighteen. Day turned eighteen. Hey, my boy T is catching up, bro. He's got that let's tiny home it. action, bro. Yeah. Dude, listen, my boy's gonna have tiny homes, hella barns, anything, everything. Anything. Real estate is my thing. I love it. Same with him though, entertaining. I don't feel like I'm myself unless I am entertaining someone. Like yeah. Yeah. even with real estate, I feel like I could love filming it, but I have to get to the point where I know enough to re make videos to teach people. Like right now I don't know enough. I'm still learning from everyone. Accountants, yep. uh real estate agents. Like I'm still I don't want to be a real estate. I just wanna have the liquid, buy, resell, or flip or vice versa, whatever it may be, Airbnb. Uh, smart. Just like I just wanna own like fifty properties. But right now, I think my it's time to like make a come up. So like with the market, the way how high it is, like I'm thinking about like selling off what I have. Yep, reinvest, doubling down when the market drops, and just buying like four instead of two. So like I just play with real estate on the side right now. I'm really invested into building like my farm the way I want it. Building yeah. a building in the back, selling fish, bro. Like I'm gonna. Bro, make that's a, just upgrading your real estate as it is right now. Yeah. It's so crazy. I like I put I reinvest so much money that I make into the videos. And then whatever is not made off YouTube, usually I reinvest the money I make on YouTube. And then promos I put into real estate. So, wow. Sometimes I sit there and think, because it's really fun to pick his brain about this, is we'll always joke around because we'll spend so much money on damn Pokemon cards. We'll be like, oh my God, we're broke. And then sometimes I think to myself, I'm like, well, Paul has put so much money into these properties mm -hmm. that if you were to, I mean, it's Bro, just constantly like, building and building. Yeah, on top crazy. of that, it's just I was talking. Value. I was telling you earlier, like, I bought, and we could say numbers because these aren't, this is real estate. This is totally off YouTube. Like I bought that house uh, in Tequesta, which is like a beautiful neighborhood by the water. <laughs> yeah. For $458,000, I put 25% down, which is like a hundred something thousand dollars and straight promotion money. Like I just saved it to the side, put that money down on the house, put 44,000, took two months to renovate. Mm -hmm. So 40, I'm, I'm in it for like, let's say 150. Um, I could sell that house right now with the market for eight hundred comfortably, eight fifty. That's insane. <laughs> That's mind blowing. It's crazy. That's my one hundred and fifty return back to me that I put down plus four hundred. That's almost six hundred k liquid. Dude, it's nuts because like every could, you're I still paying it off away. every month. And if I wanted to get rid of it like now, seven fifty is still walk away with three fifty, like four hundred <sighs> grand. Bro, and you just bought that. Just bought it. Just like bought six it. months ago. So oh imagine doing gosh. that on a higher scale with 10 times, like 10, yeah. having yeah. a team and doing 10 of them at once and then like four mil. Yeah. Like that's, that's what I like doing, but like I'm not to the point, I'm still learning. So I work slow. Like I haven't sold the house. I just like, yeah. And I, the, the first farm I owned, I bought that for like th 330 grand. It's now worth 600. Psh, 330 grand. I could, <laughs> just I think, kidding. I totally, kidding. I think I'm about <laughs> to sell it like soon. Yeah. That's nuts. It's it's cool to hear about that stuff though. How, so real estate, it's like man. A, it's like a stock. Yeah, yeah. it's a That's massive it. stock. But I always see myself entertaining. Like I said, um, I'll make videos for the eternity of YouTube. I think personally, 
Um, I might just not make as many once I start different careers, but I always film my animals, my journey. You know, I love doing it. I find so much enjoyment. And if I wake up and don't have something, like I'll tell my girlfriend, I'm like, dude, like I need to do something. Right. I can't sit still. Yeah. Yeah. I can't do it. So I see myself, yeah, making YouTube videos until it ends, if there ever is an end. And if not, moving to the next platform. Dude, I just just remember like, I mean, two years ago, uploading every other day or every day. Yeah. And that was, now that I look back at it, that's what I'm saying. Now in my mind, I'm like, that's physically impossible. But looking back at that, I would so much rather be doing that right now. And I want to get back to that. I feel like YouTube's changed so much in the past two years that there isn't very many people who do that anymore, who grind like everyone used to. It's yeah. hard. It's hard, man. I don't think people understand how hard it is, really. It's hard. Yeah, I don't, I don't either. I <clears throat> I kind of lost my uh, fire for, like we've talked about this multiple times, but kind of lost my fire for yeah. just the grind of YouTube. Mm-hmm. And I kind of got it back with this like podcast thing. Hell yeah. And like, dude, we have been working our asses That's off. That's good, though. It gives you something to like yeah. mentally really focus on. I really on. like it. Um, and it's so different uh, just being and able to- where do you live? I live in Georgia. Are you thinking about moving like, down here? No. no. I'll probably- I'm, I'm kind of interested in the whole uh, Jupiter. Well, just the like Airbnb thing. Oh, dude, it's smart. Bro. It really is. And I thought about like if if this thing takes off, then getting a place down Crazy, here, dude. have an Airbnb, rent it out for the three weeks. I'm not there. All you uh, need for a week, is, come here. All you need is money to put down on the house. Right. The second you have that, yeah. like for instance, that same to quest a house. If I wanted to, like I'm not going to. I'm most likely gonna. Um, I might Airbnb it. I don't know. Yeah. If I wanted to, right now someone's renting it. But like right now, I could rent that out for 500. This this is how I know it is person three houses down ha, is renting his out for 481 a night. So I get about 500 bucks. So let's say $481 a night. What is that a month? 30 grand? That's a lot. 15 grand? 15, am go. I tripping? 15? But even yeah, if you 15. just paid the mortgage. 15 grand. That's great. Oh. And dude, then the mortgage uh, is what? Two grand? Yeah. Plus cleaning fees, a couple maintenance fees. I mean, dude, you're pocketing yeah, 9,000 instead of, uh, yeah. instead of if you were to rent it and rent it for four or five grand yeah. instead of three grand. Yeah. So I'm saying nine grand. Crazy. You're tripling your revenue. And now if you have a different revenue stream like us, you don't have to pocket any of that, bro. Just pay the house off. So instead yeah. of paying two grand towards mortgage, put all 10 of it. Yeah. yeah. And then you're paying straight profit. <laughs> Boys, my brain hurts. We're talking a lot about numbers and houses, and I'm just stressed out, dude. Dude, you got your we're, house. We're in the we're banger. In yeah, look at you. We're, you got a house. I, I bought the banger barn we're in right now. Yeah. Boys. Banger barn. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> look, so sick, bro. Honestly, though, we this podcast has been so easy. We've talked about so much different things. We definitely Oh, we lost it. another light, man. Um, we're going down. No. Dude, we're going down. We got to end it fast. Yeah, yeah. No, we definitely got to have you boys back on. No, yeah. for sure. Yeah, absolutely. To, bro, maybe we do the next podcast strictly business if that's something they want to see. That's true. Yeah. Well, yeah. I ain't got yeah. shit to talk about then, boy. I just got lucky <laughs> playing with the cameras bro, and fish. Start buying Pokemon cards. I did. Oh. 250 bucks, and apparently there were that's, 20 bucks. That's not there. the way to do it. <laughs> he, he came on. He's like 20, 40, 60, 80. Bro, Brandon like, bid against himself so long. I was like, oh, well, give I, it to me. I, and one god dang it <laughs> all right ladies and gentlemen that wraps it up for the banger podcast T, you got anything else thank you guys for coming on yeah really thank you guys, of course man. yeah i love awesome. it we'll that be back really soon all right we're gonna take a polaroid picture throw it up on the wall yeah. and uh yeah we're gonna get some art here soon eventually all right thank you guys subscribe like podcast apple spotify <laughs> you know the deal just do the Listen good in. things that help us succeed in life so we can buy houses and things you got something i think it'd be a cool part like the ending of the video is like us actually taking the polaroid in front of it all right, we'll just we'll yeah, leave we'll the camera recording. Yeah, no. no, we'll just leave okay. this. It'll catch ambient. Ambient. Yeah. All right, uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Shoot! Peace. Boys, holy shit, that was a long one. Uh, think just keep everything recording. We'll do it on the wide, right? Yeah. Cool. It's just ready. To rock, right? Balls. Um, I'm not having to resync anything, am I? Okay, sick. Yeah, so let's just stand. Ah! Up, stand up in front here. We'll take a quick pulley. Actually. Uh, should we take, oh, we'll take, we'll just have both of them sign on. How's that? They came on and filmed together. Oh, we can do that. No, you can't. Do it. Yeah, do it. Yeah, do it. <laughs> oh, it's on my, on my hand. <laughs> 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 <laughs>